poppin' YouTube, it's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. If you are a returning subscriber, do not forget to hit that like button and also spam the comments, you guys. I missed y'all. Guess who's back? Back in consistent, back in that mode, back to the basics, you feel me? If you are a new subscriber, what's up? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Because uh, my subscribers have been going up. Y'all know I was just telling y'all how I was losing subscribers. Guess what? We going back up, we going back up, dawg! It's a highly, highly overdue long. This video is so long overdue. For subscribing um, to me, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Also follow Out Loud on Instagram and TikTok and also subscribe to Out Loud's channel, you guys. Um, I'm working on the relaunch for Out Loud. If you guys want an apartment tour? You clicked on this for an apartment tour, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. My lease is up, okay? It's almost up. I've been here for a year now. Um, I moved in last summer in June. So that means today is what, April 26th. That means I need to figure out what I'm gonna do by next month okay i gotta figure it out so because next month is may and pretty much may is already here the reason why i didn't give y'all an apartment tour because originally i was just gonna renew my lease because i really love my apartment stay tuned because i'm gonna show this to y'all but um i just don't know if i want to stay here in atlanta you guys kind of in between states or in between what's my next move stay tuned because you guys are going to see everything if i do decide to stay here in um, georgia i will just keep my apartment i don't have a problem keeping my apartment i love my apartment you guys are gonna see why in just two seconds my apartment doesn't have all of the decorations that i had wanted it to have due to me starting over from scratch but i have everything that i need in here but like you know like the extra decorations i didn't get a chance to do like if you know me you know like i'm a very extra dramatic person so child this apartment was supposed to be all the way over the top really what happened was with the apartment tour i could have been an empty apartment tour when i first got it but they didn't have everything in here like my the, my, the way that my apartment looks now especially the kitchen because it was some stuff in which i'm gonna see in a second it was some stuff that was in here that you know wasn't supposed to be in here I had to make them take money off my rent until they got it situated so that's what kind of held me back with the apartment tour i wanted it to be not perfect but you know i wanted it to look like how it's gonna look but now everything is good and before i decide if i'm gonna move out or renew i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an apartment tour so let's get into the video and let me show y'all around my crib okay first starting off this is where we walk in at this is the door and here is a coat closet my coat closet is really just have like some of my stuff up there um luggage bags and then just like little crates full of stuff you know really like that closet it's just me here y'all i do stay by myself so and i don't really have guests like that but if guests were to come over they can put i've had friends come over and they were putting their stuff in this closet um you know you can hang coats up and things of that nature so yeah just a cute coat closet that's really really spacious living room first <laughs> y'all it's gloomy outside today so that's why i got like two of the things clothing y'all can just see that tree right there but um also for safety reasons <laughs> but um here is my living room you guys it is so freaking cute this is how it looks with it down with the um tv let me actually put this on i'm so sorry y'all i'm over all over the place but i'm gonna explain everything to y'all so really quickly let's just start with the tv and everything over here first so I do have a 65 inch TV with some lights on the back, but this is the TV area. Um, this did come from Walmart. It is a TCL Roku TV, about $400. Um, I got it mounted and yeah, um, I was undecided TV stand because I had bought a mirror and of course I wanted my mirror to go in here. I wanted to put the mirror in here or if I wanted to put it in my room, but I just decided to keep it in here because I just thought it looked really, really cute. And of course, when people come over, you know, they have a mirror to look in. So yeah, I was going to do big, long um, black blackout curtains. I don't know why, but I just thought that that would be cool to put there. It would make it look, look more luxury. So that's what I was gonna put right there. Um, I did want to get a rug, but the rug that I want sold out, y'all. It was a black and white rug, and I wanted that rug so bad, and it sold out. 
so um i didn't get a real couch and the ottoman the ottoman i did want to get a tray that was going to match these chanel graffiti pictures it's gonna be a graffiti tray with some decorative tray pieces on it couch area is just so cute so um black and white cow print with a sparkly pillow and i was gonna have a colorful pillow to tie in the colors but it's so cute in here and what i love about the living room is it literally like when i say literally y'all the living room literally matches my personality like you can come in my house and be like yes we know jay decorated this we know she did yeah so yeah it's like just take a seat back it's so cute, y'all. My favorite part of my house is definitely the living room and the kitchen. My favorite designer is Chanel, so I did want to go with Chanel theme, Chanel graffiti print, um, a Chanel quote kills, hair and standards high, and then a, another Chanel picture that matches that one. So freaking cute, y'all. This picture actually used to be over there, but once I seen these two and I seen this, and I was like, okay, I could do something. I could tie all of this in together, and I just did. Um, I have this little furry blanket that sits on the end, and yeah, that makes up the living room. All right, now we're moving to my favorite part of the house, which is really the real reason why I got this apartment, the kitchen. Yes, y'all, this is the kitchen. Um, we're gonna start with the bar stools first. The bar stools are from Walmart as well. Um, oh, and the couch is from Wayfair. The couch is from Wayfair, if I didn't say. Um, but yeah, the bar stools are from Walmart. They were $350, I believe. I think so. No, 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 I'm lying. They were $250, almost $300. The three um, pack of the bar stools was $350, almost $400. But I don't really have company over like that. So I just decided to go with just two bar stools. That's just why I didn't have bar stools for the longest, y'all. That's $400 for three bar stools and nobody really comes over here. It's crazy. And right here, you have my month plans, which I've never used. But this is such a cute picture, you guys. It's sparkly, as y'all can see. I'm like telling you guys about stuff that I want it in here um i'm gonna do an updated apartment tour if i do decide to stay here i'm gonna do an updated apartment tour with everything that i said that i didn't get i'm gonna get so i can finish off the apartment but yeah it's a lot of stuff that i kind of didn't get but it's a lot of stuff i did get that i really wanted so yeah that's what i was saying in the beginning so this refrigerator was not stainless steel when i first moved in it was a black refrigerator and when i talked to the lady she told me i was gonna have stainless steel appliances so i had a black refrigerator a, a stainless steel dishwasher and y'all this stove y'all i love this this is the stove area as y'all can see the lights go over here you got the microwave and the stove and the oven stove i'm gonna post pictures but the stove was a regular stove and so they had the top part so just imagine the stove being on this side and the sink being on and you know in the counter which is how it's mostly done so imagine a stove being on here and you know how you would have the the button and control part sitting up here y'all that's how they had it y'all gonna see the picture and that was so ugly to me because i'm like if this is supposed to be a flat top stove it needs to be a flat top stove so i made them take 100 dollars off my rent every month until they fixed it y'all just thought about something the microwave went in there either so i think it took them like maybe three or four months to fix it so that was one of the reasons why i couldn't get you guys the apartment so quicker but anywho let me show y'all around in the kitchen so um again this is the this is the refrigerator the dishwasher that i never use ever 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 i do not use dishwasher my dishes by hand but um yes yeah, so um i got my dish detergent my queen's kitchen y'all i had to get this y'all this is so me i had to get this sink, oh my gosh y'all the sink is just to die for like i just love the sink it comes up like that you got this they can do that and it also comes out and it's just like really really cute and then y'all the sink is so deep like you could fit so many dishes on this side and this side really really love this is one of my other favorite parts i'm gonna turn the lights off in here for this one this is my other favorite parts of the kitchen which is the built-in light so if i touch that the lights will come off um i still have uh, my led lights that i put in here that goes from here to all the way over here now these are my led lights these colorful ones um i put these in here myself these were built in with the place which i thought were so cool so you could just tap that and it comes on and it looks like that and you can also adjust the brightness so, yep. 
bright, make it not bright, bright, not bright, bright. And then you can also like tap that M and then that M makes it brighter as well. Having this face, not as much as, you know, I would have liked, but again, it's just me in here. And to be quite honest, I'm not even using all this cabinet space. Um, it's nothing up there. Over here is where I keep my dishes, cups, and all of that stuff. I keep that right there. Um, it's nothing up here. I just have a big pot. Over here is where I keep like snacks, seasonings, and things of that nature. And then another, oh, and I got this, y'all thrifted. I got this for a dollar. Don't let anyone do your sparkle. Never do it. Um, right there is where the gas tank is. So that's where the gas comes out. Um, over here is where I have some of my utensils, plastic utensils, oven mitt, cooking book. Under here, um, I have more uh, stainless steel utensils, Tupperware, plastic cups, hookah equipment, and popcorn stuff up there. Um, you know, Tupperware and dishes under there. Of course, this is where I keep my cleaning supplies. And if you're black, you know, you, if you know, you know, okay? I'm gonna keep me some plastic bags, okay? My trash can is from Walmart. It's, in, um, it's a sensor trash can, so all you do is wave it, and it opens and it closes in five seconds. The microwave is right here. I got pots and pans and things of that nature in there. Pots and pans in there as well. Um, my mess drawers, you know, where I put the mail and things of that nature. It's also some more utensils right there. The stove and the little thingy. And I really, really love this. So this is how it looks without the lights. And of course y'all know this from Amazon. I posted this and it went semi-viral on TikTok. So all of this stuff came from Amazon and that's linked in my um, Amazon thing. So yeah, this is the kitchen you guys. Ooh, I feel like the kitchen took the most time to explain. Right here in front of me was supposed to be the dining room. However, again, it's just me. So I either eat at the bar or I eat on my couch. Here is where the dining room is supposed to be. Now, if I would've got around to it, this was gonna be my filming area, which is another reason why I love this apartment. I was gonna deck this whole wall out, put like a mini couch a rug, a little TV. I'm sorry, I was going unfocused. A rug, a little stand, and yes, that was going to be my filming area. Um, if I decide to stay here, I will definitely do that. My balcony area, the vibes. Very spacious out there, and it does come with a closet out there as well. I have like all of my storage in here, which is like, you know, my Christmas stuff, my, you know, extra little storage. It's very spacious in there as well. So this is the laundry room, y'all. Um, I had all of the laundry detergent, the beach, trash bags, smell good stuff, Swiffer stuff. I have my mop and boom and Swiffer right there. Um, this is my washer right here. And I got my dryer. Y'all, the dryer and the washer is like very big. And then over here, it's another thing up there where I just got some tissue. And then my hamper full of clothes and stuff is over here. And y'all, it is so big. Like you could come all the way in. How big it is in here. I love it. Hey y'all, so moving on right here is my Nest electric air and heat control thingy i really really love this because if it's too hot in here y'all it will go into eco mode or if it's too cold it's going to go off into eco mode that's when y'all see that green leaf um you can just do it like that it's going to tell you the mode i have it off right now and then yeah you can change the temperature and things of that nature i really, really love that y'all i was going to put like a big portrait of me right here with like a little poof and like a little light y'all know how they be putting the lights above the pictures that's what I was gonna put right here. <laughs> so right here is my linen closet. It's not that much linen in it. As you can see, I have my blankets right here. Some of my towels right here, I have like a little extra pillow. I have extra makeup, um, nail things, um, peroxide, alcohol, things of that nature. And then up here is where I keep like all of my old wigs, my hair, my braiding hair, my wig head, and all of that is in there. Only thing I hate about this part is this. Y'all, why would they put this here? Like, this would have been so much more space for me. But yeah, so that's how it looks in here. Now we're at the bathroom, which was the first room that I got finished. 
So as y'all can see, I have some little decorative pieces over here. Um, y'all see my um. So the only thing I don't like about the bathroom, y'all, is it's not enough counter space. Since I didn't get my vanity, I get ready in here. So I be having hair stuff everywhere, makeup everywhere. Y'all stuff be falling. I be just getting frustrated. But the mirror is definitely a decent size. I love a good big mirror, as y'all can see. Really, really cute. Um, I got like a little diamond towel holder to go up there. Um, love the lights in here. White lights everywhere. I had to have white lights. Of course, you know, I would have put a towel there. Um, I have like, you know, my sparkly. Y'all, let me show y'all. Cause I feel like, I feel like the camera ain't doing it justice like it needs to. So, so let me, let me, let me help y'all help it out. With the bathroom. Um, I got just some brushes in here. This is where I keep my cotton pads, um, Q-tips, um, some skincare, my toothbrush, soap, and then a the little mirror. I was gonna get another decorative piece, but it was too big to put on here because like I said, it's not enough space. The sink is really, really cool. You just lift it up and then this does that. Of course, you got the toilet. I got my rugs and y'all. We got some sparkles going on. I'm trying to make it sparkle for y'all, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, it also comes with a second light in here, which I could have changed, which I meant to, because I could change that light bulb and I could put like, I have a colored light bulb that uh, goes with my phone. So like I can make it change colors and stuff, but I just kept the regular bulb in there just because. But that's how we look. Down here, I have a diamond. Everything is kind of like, you know, sparkly, if y'all can't tell. So this has the um, toilet, you know, wipes. And then the caddy, it matches the tissue holder. So yeah, and I love the towel in here. Look at here, I'm gonna turn this off so y'all can hear me. But yes, I did get the diamond. So everything has to sparkle, okay? I think we, I think we can agree to that. But that's not much of the bathroom, so we're moving on. Last part of the house. <laughs> so as y'all can see, here we go. Here's my room. Um, bed is from Wayfair. We love it. Um, of course, these come up. So I have like my books, journals and things like that in there. Up right here too. This part goes up right here too. But you guys, everything that I wanted here was gonna be expensive. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I tried to take that TV to the pawn shop, y'all. He told me $30. I said, well, I might as well keep the little TV. But anytime I'm in my room, like, I'm either watching stuff on my phone or watching stuff on my laptop. Or sometimes, there's been plenty of times where I'll be in the living room watching something and I'll just fall asleep on that couch. Here is my fan, y'all. The fan is just like this in the um, living room as well. Stainless steel, really cool. Uh, my pictures. Y'all, this is my favorite picture. I seen this at, um, I think, Home Goods. it was. I could not let this picture go. I tried to hang it up, up, up there. Picture is just too heavy for like what I had, so yeah. And y'all probably remember that picture um, from my last apartment. And so the last, very last part of the house is the closet, um, which is one of my also favorite parts. Um, this is the closet, you guys. It's not really much to it. I got hella shoes, shoes over there, shoes over there, a bag over there, purses, 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 a small mirror, um, hella clothes over here, hella clothes over there, clothes in the bins, y'all. The okay, so look, the story behind the bins is a lot of my clothes I um throwing out or giving away i've had so much so much of this stuff for years it gotta go but yes so that's the closet i really really love the closet it's so cute in here like i could just walk in and i love the fact that i kept my small mirror in here so like when i'm in here trying to figure out something to wear i got a mirror in here for myself and you know like i said if i have guests over they can use the big mirror out there so that's why i kept the mirror out there so yes that's pretty much it i'm about to prop up so i can you know close this video out just want to say again thank you guys so much for tuning in supporting me watching my videos y'all i know it's been crazy these past couple of years but you guys i'm just learning so much i'm learning a lot about myself you know what i love what i don't like you know i'm just doing like a lot of self-work and a lot of just healing overall um this video was long overdue. Let this be a video um, for you guys to never give up, you guys. 
I remember being stuck at that student style apartment called Westmar. I'm not gonna lie, it was called Westmar. I was staying at Westmar, Westmar my last year of college. If you guys know about Westmar, you know it's the most disgusting, most trashiest place to stay if you're a student. If you have to make do what it do, then you know I do you know recommend staying there for like the pricing because for the location and the pricing it wasn't that bad but it was at the same time because we had to deal with just so much um you know i had to deal with so much i didn't even stay my whole lease there y'all baby i was out who ass because i had for westmar i had ended up paying my, i was there for 10 months i ended up paying my last two months up front along with my first month at westmar so them last two months, baby, I didn't stay there. I used to be back and forth because I used to work really, really close to apartments. So I used to be back and forth, but baby, I could not wait to get up out of there. I had roommates, they was nasty. I just hated the space. That was also another reason why you guys didn't see me film as much last year of college because I was just in a space where I just didn't even care to even decorate. I just was, it just wasn't given. And plus on top of that, I had that car accident. So I was just in such a bad space. So once I got my money up, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get another apartment. Came and got this one and been here for a year. Don't know what I wanna do, y'all. I do not want to leave this apartment because I just love it so freaking much. Um, it has been my space. It has been my safe space. I have been at this house all the time uh, when I got free time. I don't even like leaving the house now, especially now that I have everything that I need. Like I got furniture in here. I have working air, working lights. I am blessed. I'm counting my blessings because I am blessed. Let this be a video to inspire you guys and motivate you guys to keep going. You can have a luxury apartment too. And don't get me wrong, this not a high rise apartment, but bro, I'm staying in something nice. Like, kid you not, I'm pretty sure I pay a good price for what I pay and then for what people pay for those nice view houses. Like, don't get caught up what you see on social media because it's, I know for a fact my apartment physically in the inside looks better than some of the um, other places. Now, I will say this apartment is not in the city, um, like middle in the city. It's like, it's in Atlanta. Like, I'm not too, like, I'm literally like 10 minutes away from Buckhead, 15 minutes away from Midtown, and 20 minutes from downtown. So, I'm not in the middle of the city anymore, which is what I wanted. I wanted to kind of branch out, get outside the city for a little bit, because for my whole five years of being in Atlanta, I've always been in Midtown, downtown because of school. So, I did kind of want to experience another area you guys it's it's palm colored people over here in mexican so i don't have to deal with much of nothing it's quiet over here so that's why i said if i do decide to stay in atlanta i'm gonna keep my apartment but you guys i've been here for so long i've been in atlanta for so long and it's just you know i'm at the place where i'm i've been trying to hold on to atlanta due to acting because this is perfect for what i want to do but i'm also at a place where i do feel complacent i feel stagnant i feel like nothing is going for me and i have to make a move definitely stay tuned on this journey you guys i don't know what's my next move but i will definitely keep you guys updated keep you guys in the loop i don't know what i'm gonna do but if i could just share my story and help you guys throughout your life journeys and you know just show that it can be done like it can be done it's not hard at all you just have to have discipline be consistent work hard you can you can live exactly how I'm living too. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this house for a year by myself, pay all my bills by myself. You know what I'm saying? It was hard. It wasn't easy because my bills had doubled from my last apartment. I was in the student student um housing. You know my last year of college, but this is like my own apartment. So this apartment comes with a bigger rent. It comes with big big utility bills gas water um power so i got all of these bills cable wi-fi so um definitely make sure you are in the right space before buying an apartment make sure you have you some good stable income coming in because it ain't easy okay but it can be done so definitely let this video be a staple of inspiration and motivation to get your own place too i'm 23 living in luxury and you can do it too you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you guys follow me on instagram subscribe to this youtube channel if you're not subscribed follow me on tiktok follow me on um everything follow out loud instagram and tiktok and i'll see y'all in the next one